Hi, you're watching App Sites. My name is Shaman. I give app and website tutorials and reviews. And today we're gonna to be talking about Google Lookout. Google Lookout is an Android app that helps people with low vision by giving them details about the world around them. But this can also help if you misplace your glasses or it can help people with dyslexia. So let's get into it. So this is the Google Lookout app in the top left corner. As of the time of this recording, it is purple with some binoculars on it. And it says look out underneath. So I'm going to click on the app. All on the top, you'll see on the left hand side, you'll see the three lines and you'll see next to it, it says text because this is the text mode that it's in. And then to the right of that, it shows English because that's the language that I'm using. And then to the right of that, there's a lowercase I with a circle around it. So and that's on every screen. So if I tap on that eye, you're actually going to get some information about the mode that you're in. So this lets you know that it's text mode and that you point your camera at any text and look out reads it. So this is helpful if you want to read something, whether it's a sign or whether it's a, you know, a small document or, or a piece of mail or anything. So I have a small hey. piece of paper here. It's back. Free fall leaf collection. We're collecting your bays every week on our recycling day ezl it's back free fall leaf collection we're collecting your leaves every week on your recycling day it's easy set out your leaf and yard waste food scraps and food soiled paper after so 4 p.m the night before that. your recycling day we ll pick it up every week from october 3rd through december 23rd make compost not trash all so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the top left hand corner and I'm going to select documents, which is the next uh, option that you can choose documents. So you can see at the top right hand corner, if I click the eye, it's going to say point your camera at a document and look out reads and including handwriting. The beeping sound guides you to the document to let you know if you got to go a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. So I'm I have a document here. Too close. Move device away. As you can see, it's very Move device sensitive. towards bottom right. To put this Too close. Sit down, Move device over. away. Move device. Hold still. You are helping develop new tools to reach a new generation of families. New one. Real life loading R. Real life loading is our new podcast aimed at reaching and helping young adults in the 18 to 28 age. So I'm going to pause that. So that will continue reading everything that was on that page. And uh, it's helpful if you want to read a page, a document or something else that's a little bit longer than some some shorter text. So that's very helpful. As you can see, you can pause it or you can play it again. Group hosted by author and public speaker Shelby Abbott. Real. You can delete it when you're finished with it or you can just X out of it. But I'm going to actually delete that. So it's blank and it's gone now. So now I'm going to move down to the uh, next Can't option detect here. Text. And this is explore. explore. So this explores the area around you. So I actually Tire. have a computer here next to me. So if I put this here, laptop, it says laptop. And there's something else around me. I can put it there and it'll tell you what it is. It's currently in beta, so it's not always perfect, but it's a good option that you can use. So I'm going to click again in the upper left hand corner on the three lines. And then I'm going down to currency. Currency. So this. I'm going to they explain it so where I'm going to click on the eye because you'll be able to see what they say again. Uh, so it says point your camera at a single bank note and look out identifies it. So it doesn't always work with uh, it doesn't work with coins and it doesn't work with some currency. So you can click the X at the top left or you can click continue on the bottom. I'm going to click continue. So I have a note here. I have a few different notes. Five dollars. Right away. Immediately. No problem. It lets me know it's a five. One dollar. Right away, let me know it's a one. It works $1. pretty good. And it's a good feature that you can have. So I'm going to go to the next feature, which is food labels. Food labels. So with the food labels, this can allow no someone. No product in view. This can allow someone to actually. No product in view. You see, it's asking me. It's pretty, pretty No product in view. So, um, Planters honey label. roasted peanuts. 16 ounce jar. So, and this is Planters honey roast. So that was accurate. And I have another food item here. Scan the barcode. Chef's covered chicken bouillon cubes. And this is chicken bouillon. So it's very helpful. 
I tested it on some food no product and, it in view. and it didn't work, uh, but it no did, product does work in with view. that and it works with many foods. No and product you actually in have view. to download the information. No product in view. So you'll have that option when you first no set this up to in download view. it, the information for the no food. No product in view. So now I'm going to go down to images. Now this is in beta also, and there's a few ways it can work, but as you can see up here, it says choose an image or share an image from another app and Lookout describes it. You can also ask questions about an image in English and receive AI powered responses. So let's click continue. So I'm going to choose a, uh, an image. I went out to dinner the other night, so I'm going to choose this image here of the food that I ate. In this picture, we can see noodles and meat in a bowl and other food in a plate. And on this table, we can see forks, glasses, spoons, and plates. Details, plate, food, tableware, modified, September 20th, 2023. This is a good feature that you can use. And so I'm going to come back out to the home screen again. And that is the features that, that it has. And I never mentioned this, but at the top right hand corner, that's just a picture of me because it shows what Google account you're logged into because this is an Android app. So it works uh, with Google. And if you want to get this, you would download it on uh, Google Play on your Android device. And also on the bottom, it shows recent and you can go back to some things that you did, like click on dollar. One dollar. And it shows one dollar, whatever the history is of whatever it is that you that you are pre previously uh, using this for. And you can delete all of the history at the top right hand corner. And it says this can't be undone. I'm going to delete it right now. Now, they also have a uh, an app for people to have iPhones and it's called Seeing AI. And um, it's very uh, useful. But uh, this is the Android version and uh, it's free as well as the iPhone one that's similar is free so uh, definitely check this out because anyone that has any visual impairments uh, this can definitely help them or if somebody has difficulties reading it can help read documents and things for you thanks for watching if this video was helpful give it a like i'll be doing more app and website tutorials and reviews so subscribe and click the bell icon to stay up to date with my videos i'll catch you on the next one